this. Today is a follow along day, so meet me at the chair. No equipment, give me one jack, one jab. Both feet open, one tap on the jab. Make sure that you're rotating that punch on the way forward. Transitioning to a bicep curl with a leg extension, you want to engage your quad as you extend that leg and then create your own resistance on that bicep curl. Transitioning into a rotating shoulder press, so palms go out on the way out, face you on the way in, careful that you're not gripping your hip flexor, especially since we'll be in the chair for the duration of this workout. You're gonna give me one rotation, one knee pull at the top. So obliques engaged here, rectus abdominis at the knee pull. Switching sides. Coming to your left hip, gently grab the chair just for guidance. You're going to squeeze your glute to externally rotate and engage your shoulder as you lift that arm. So again, light grab, you're not gripping for dear life, just balance purposes. Tricep dips here, walk your feet forward so you have space just enough for your butt to slide free of the chair. Elbows go back, make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, giving you at least 90 degrees at the bottom, full extension at the top. One tap, one tuck. Jab, double jab, one tuck. You're engaging your core as you pull those knees up and the chest as you press those arms forward. Coming to the right, or sorry, the left hip, long spine, one row, one hamstring curl, squeezing your shoulder blade into your spine as you draw that elbow up and squeezing the back of the thigh, so that's where your hamstring, as you pull the heel towards your glutes. Good, gentle pressure on the top of the thigh as you lift to your highest tippy toes to really challenge the calves. Excellent start. If that felt appropriate for you, you can stay here at the easy version, repeat that, or grab some light dumbbells depending on your strength and meet me back at the chair. I'm going to be using five pounds. So we're going to go slower now. One slow jack and then one slow jab because we want to make sure that we're being intentional now that we have resistance. Intentionality should be there regardless, but especially that we have the weight keeping your shoulders packed, so down and in so that you control the movement at the shoulder joint. Transitioning to a bicep curl. And on the shoulder press, you want to exhale at the top of the movement. As you're getting comfortable, decide how you want to breathe, right? You want to breathe or exhale when you are exerting the most force. So think about that with these movements as you go throughout the workout. Fancy transition here. Drop a one, grab both, catch the beat. Same idea, one rotation, one knee pull. Switch it out. Good. And then coming to that hip, still just a gentle guide with that left hand. And then you'll feel your shoulder more now that you have that resistance, right? So controlling it, make sure you're still getting your arm to shoulder height. Placing the dumbbell out of the way, same idea, tricep dips. Good, re-grabbing, we have one tap, one tuck. Make the knees such the elbows, okay? You're going to engage the core to bring those knees up. You want to try not to lean back, right? Just stay upright and bring the knees in. Keeping the arms at shoulder height as you extend the arms. 
row is going to be the same. All right, this time you're gonna grab both dumbbells to help with that pressure on the calves. Again, leaning forward so that you give yourself some resistance. Great, so you can stay here or if you're able to move in and out of the chair, meet me at the next version because we're going to up the ante a little bit. So I'm using the same five pound dumbbells. This time we're gonna come out of the seat, one jab, no tap. Out of the seat, one jab. I'm pulling up my quads. I'm squeezing my glutes. My core is engaged the whole time. All right, transitioning into a pistol squat. Right leg is up. You can keep that leg elevated if you need to. You can bend it or just rest your heel as you go up and down. Quick switch here. Make sure you drive through that heel, pull up the quads, send the hips forward, and pull nice and tall at the top. Good, staying up. You want to get that leg to hip height now with the rotating press. Quick switch to the other side. And again, fancy transition. We're going to drop the dumbbell, just one that you need. Sit down to the chair, one knee pull at the top. Sit down to the chair, one knee pull. Give me two more, then we're going to switch sides. Good, you're going to keep the dumbbell in both hands this time. No guide for the balance, and you're just going to sit tall, still squeezing that glute on the way out. Bring them arms to shoulder height. Get them up, sis. A dumbbell out of the way this time we're going to add a little jump at the top of the tricep dip so you're going to press up in a way so your arms should be free of the chair make sure you're going up and down because i did miss the chair one time and that is not cute okay one tap one squat jump so we're coming out of the chair extending the hips pulling up those quads we're absorbing at the bottom of that motion not with the locked out leg but sending our booty back into a squat Good. And row and hamstring curl, old and faithful, keeping it the same. No dumbbells. This time you're going to come off of the chair so that you're not sitting on and just rise high onto your tippy toes. Make sure you roll your shoulders down and back. Excellent work. So you can repeat that round again or whichever round you want. Make sure you do a total of four, but we're going to make it a little bit sexy. So grab your heels if you would like. So still one tap and then I'm going to rotate my hips to the other direction. So I'm just doing a hip circle at the bottom and I'm in a close squat now. So my feet are close together as I sit down and back. Bicep curl is the same. This time you're going to place your dumbbells behind you, light grab on the chair, extend the legs, then cross them, extend and then flip the cross. Regrab the dumbbell, one shoulder press, open the legs, pull the knees in on the way in, open the legs, pull in as the dumbbell comes down. Send the hips back, give me a cute little roll up, step out so that you're wider, no knee here, just down and up. Good. Find your chair, give me a body roll, make it cute, but you're really looking for your chair, okay? So you want to make sure you get there. This time we're extending the leg and then we're making the rotating shoulder press the action of the arm. I'm still lightly gripping for balance.
placing the dumbbell behind you and then we're gonna do a body roll with our tricep dip now I'm still going to 90 degrees at the bottom of that movement but I'm just giving myself a little body roll getting some glute work in there at the top Good. Now I'm going to rotate my chair just so that you can see me better. You don't have to. And then I'm going to come to my, or not to my knees, to a little squat and do the row with a little booty pop because why not? All right. And then taking a step back so that you're on a diagonal so that we can do modified push-ups. That chest needs to touch the chair, okay? It's a modified version. Challenge yourself with the depth of it all. Move your chair out of the way. Lift your booty as high as you can. I can't slide on my floor, so that's all I got. Engaging the hamstrings as you bring the heels towards your booty. And for the finish, give me a nice drag up. Please share this. I know it's Thanksgiving week and you don't want to get out of the chair. But this is the perfect workout to do with your family.